This video is meant to serve as a mirror. If you have found it, if you're gravitating towards it, then it's meant to lead you deeper into yourself and into the part of you that wants to be seen based on your deeper awareness of that part of you. What I want you to do as you listen to these words is to be brutally honest with yourself and really reflect within on what comes up for you when I ask you the following questions. And the first one is, why are you watching this video? Why are you interested in spirituality as a whole and what is it that you want to achieve more from the personal development field? Why do you believe that more awareness will offer you a better life? And what is it that you want to achieve in your life that you think spirituality can afford you? These questions are very important to ask yourself because most people find themselves in the spiritual space, in this desired pathway of achieving more knowledge, more information, more awareness about something that they believe will lead them towards the pursuit of happiness because there is an end objective. There's something that might have brought you to this point along your journey where you are curious about what you do not yet know that you believe will lead you down the route to achieving what you want. However, you may not know yet what you want. You might simply know that you no longer want to be in the position that you were in in the past. You might not want to be your former self or have to deal with the things that you used to deal with have to be faced by the same conflicts, the same people, recurring patterns, because you might have recognized that there are certain things in your past that you don't want to bring into your future. And so here you found spirituality. Here you found the promise of a better life when you choose to depart from your old ways and catalyze yourself into a vehicle of consciousness that can be refined, bringing you into a totally new future. In this sense, spirituality is a beautiful tool because through the realization that you are a vessel of awareness and as you change yourself from within, you automatically change the world around you, you expose yourself to new possibilities and you realize you have the freedom to be. You have the freedom to create a whole new reality, which is a beautiful thing. However, many people find themselves on this precipice of change, just wanting to attain things that they believe will make them happier that they believe will nourish their ego with what they want to now construe into their new identity of their choosing. And within that framework of mind, in which you prescribe a new reality to yourself through the lens of spirituality, you can actually find yourself going down a totally different pathway. And this is where I want to challenge some of the deepest, most popular self-help teachings that I believe are doing a disservice to humanity through all the people who find them wanting to escape their past without necessarily finding themselves in the future that they're actually meant to experience. It all begins with the point A, when you decide that you want to create that change. You might start to look up new information, you might start to do research, or have some spiritual experience that leads you down that rabbit hole to deeper awareness. Literally, a water container in the kitchen just fell. That was creepy. <laughs> I don't know what that was, guys. I feel like that was like a spirit something moving in because I thought that I was going to channel this video straight up. So, please excuse the teen detour. We're going to move forward. Okay. So, what I was saying. So let's begin with the point A of the spiritual path that serves as the inception of the journey for most people. It's at that point that you decide to depart from your previous ways, your old life, or at least some fragments of your old perspective that you now realize no longer serve you. It's at that point that you decide to devote yourself to the acquisition of the new, to challenge your beliefs, and to form new patterns that lead you towards more things that you want to bring into your experience. However, it's also at that point in your journey when you can be excited about the new possibilities and just jump into something that represents the new, but not necessarily what you need. In other words, if you're living a same old kind of a life and you decide to change things radically, you might want to look to, let's say, law of attraction teachings that promise you the ability to manifest abundance, love, new financial changes, any kind of new lifestyle or things in your life that you believe will bring you that happiness that you deserve. Because after all, isn't that what spirituality is for? It's for the promise of a new life that you get to manifest for yourself. So law of attraction teachings appear to be the easiest and most convenient gateway to that spiritual paradise. What really is the spiritual paradise that you're trying to etch for yourself when you go for something like a law of attraction teaching? You're trying to manufacture a reality in which you're simply escaping the lack of the things that you believe you need to be happy. You're attaching more to 
what you desire will bring you happiness than to your actual state of being. You are desiring more to become the manifester of an experience that you do not yet have than to realize why you have already been manifesting everything that you have. Through choosing to not attach to everything that is present in your life at present, you're actually choosing to evade some aspects of your experience and to not look deeply enough within yourself to understand why you manifested them, instead turning to new Law of Attraction teachings to help you bring more in without processing what you already are and have. The main flaw of the Law of Attraction teachings, in my opinion, is that they simply don't redirect your attention towards the root of all these things that you're trying to manifest. They don't beg you to ask yourself the question, why do you have what you have? And why do you want what you want? Why have you already been manifesting things that you want to push out of your existence without ascertaining why they are already there? And why is it that you believe attracting new things in your life is going to fundamentally change you as a human being and add to your experience? Because it's very likely that once you even attract the things that you believe will bring you joy, you still won't have enough. Because through this very process of wanting to bring more into your life, you are still stuck in a scarcity mindset. You are still wanting to believe that bringing more into your life is going to make you happy. But that in and of itself is an illusion. Having more of anything doesn't make you a happier person. It doesn't bring you more fulfillment. It doesn't make you more of a manifester. Because within that space between your ego and your soul is where all of this lack and shortage lies. It's where you have this void that you can explore within and look to Law of Attraction teachings to remedy. But unless you fill that void with the substance of your essence, your creative potential, your desires, true love for yourself and for the world at large, you're never going to actually have what you want. Because through trying to achieve what you want, you're just trying to evade the need to be the person you're looking for. Classically speaking, when we want to attract something into our lives, we're looking to bring something into the physical that we believe will fulfill us. It's kind of like we're a puzzle piece on a half-completed puzzle board of life and we're thinking that if we find the missing pieces, we're going to finally be able to be happy. We're going to be able to see the full picture and the journey is finally going to be worth it. Maybe we feel we need to soothe ourselves in a sensory level with the things that will bring us the physical experience of joy and comfort. However, even when we manifest the physical experience, there's always the possibility that the emotional state is still going to be unfulfilled. And so I think spirituality is really attempting to solve this issue of incompleteness. However, the modern day spin on spirituality does a great job at deluding people to not see it. Now, not all people who are interested in attraction and manifestation are materialistic and self-centered people. Many people want to use these practices to help them heal and to move on from a reality that they don't want to be experiencing. However, this is another facet of the incomplete coin of the Law of Attraction community and this side of spirituality. It's the aspect that promotes running away from the self and its totality, from the experience of being with yourself and being complete with yourself. Because in thinking that something can exist outside of you and you taking that part as part of yourself is going to make you whole, you're still challenging the very nature of oneness within yourself. You're choosing not to see that when you are with your own soul and when you can experience the connection to all things in reality, you are already whole. And so if you were to look at things through that perspective, would you still want the things that you think you want? Would you still believe that you need to manifest anything? Or you need to use some kinds of law of attraction teachings, affirmations, manifestation meditations, or any kind of rituals or techniques in order to bring these physical things into existence when you're already seeing that your existence is a reflection of you. Know that nobody who promotes some kind of attraction teachings is actually bringing you the truth that you need to hear. Because the truth that you need to hear is that wanting anything excessively all of the time is a sign that you are not actually giving yourself what you need most, which is awareness, love, attention, things that are free, things that Law of Attraction can never bring into your experience of the inner world, because that's where it all begins. Whatever you want externally is already a byproduct of what you're feeling a lack of internally. Whether you want more happiness, more love, more abundance, there is some kind of reciprocal ingredient in your inner space that is needed for you to feel like you are actually the creator of your experience. And so if you begin there, you can start to actually fine tune your inner workings and understand where is actually the root cause of everything that I do not have manifested in my world. 
Maybe it's you. Maybe it's your past that has not allowed you to feel like you can be fulfilled by giving yourself everything that you need to experience, by choosing to be as one with you. By choosing to run away from yourself, you're only going to be realizing that the world cannot cater to your needs, and that you will not get what you want because at the end of the day, the universe is showing you that you are the person who you've been seeking. What if you can see your past as the necessary manifestation of your subconscious mind that brought you to the ability to be the creator of your reality? What if you had to go through the low points in your life out of a conscious desire to actually hit those lows in order to now realize how to emerge out of them? What if every low moment was intentionally chosen by your higher self so that you can learn to be powerful, to be free, to make the decisions now to become your best version of self, and to expand on that potentiality knowing what you're truly capable of. The way to actually manifest is to go back into those low points of your journey and to come back out of them, realizing that within those crevices of your experience lies the greatest wisdom. If you can now see the truth in them, and you choose to accept them and integrate the experiences, you will now start to manifest the expression of your awareness. When you understand the lesson, you no longer have to repeat the cycle. When you see into the pattern, the pattern no longer has a grip over you. And so you naturally start to manifest an improved, enhanced, more alive version of yourself in your reality when you start to realize that you are growing. And by accepting your experience in its fullest, you don't have to manifest anything new. You just have to manifest more within yourself to experience that continual evolution in the world around you. Now, is this approach popular? No. Of course, it's not as glamorous as the approaches that tout you repeating affirmations before you fall asleep about how you're a multimillionaire, and if you keep doing that enough times, you're actually going to manifest some millions of dollars. These kinds of things promise you the opportunity to believe more in a version of yourself that exists along the continuum of time that will bring you the happiness you believe you need, but through some kind of external measures of achieving it. It makes you believe that a fantasy of yourself holds within it the key to happiness. It makes you believe that if you do certain techniques, you're going to optimize your potential, rather than by understanding who you are really and what you want at your core, you're going to access the greatness that no practice and no technique could show you toward. Because this is all about the individual journey and understanding the workings of your own soul. In order to understand what will actually make you happy and what spirituality is for, you need to go deep enough into yourself in order to understand what do you want to make of this experience? Why are you in this simulation which is allowing you to understand how you have manufactured it with your mind? And why you would have done so in order to achieve even more awareness about yourself and reality at large? How can you make the most out of this very real seeming environment which is entirely illusory altogether? Because your brain is simulating the experience of the realness. So to think that some manifestation teaching can help you optimize the simulation for yourself doesn't make much sense, does it? Because ultimately, you get not what you want, but what you need. What has already been programmed within your higher self's development of the matrix for you. And to align with your higher self's plan is to really understand how to manifest the reality that you've always wanted to experience because you've already been intended to experience it from the beginning. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't rush the journey of life and know that you're here to just understand why you're here for a reason. You're here to understand that this is an elaborate manifestation that you are highly invested in because you wanted to be here. You chose to be here despite all the difficulties and all the confusion about what you want and who you are. As you move deeper into your own self, you'll realize that there is no reason to move outside of you to understand what you want and what you need. Because ultimately, through the understanding of yourself, you see that what you need is already built into your own aspects of self. What you need most is the exploration of your personality, your uniqueness. You want to see yourself shine and to be that authentic reflection of your own soul. And in doing so, the desire to acquire disappears because you start to actually emanate that truth, that purity, that innocence, and that beauty of your own soul. Life becomes a magnet to more abundant, loving, and enriching experiences when you choose you and when you decide that you are the creator of all that you have and that you ever will achieve.